Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today, guys. Hey everybody! Welcome to Crank's Beer Reviews today. Couldn't tell if a damn light was on or not. I'm looking over here. Is it on? Sometimes. <laughs> ah. Welcome to Crank's Beer Reviews. I think I said that already. Alright guys, today's beer. Orange Marshmallow Gusher. G-U-S-H-I-E-R. Gusher. Gusher. Uh, and this is a big beer, guys. A triple IPA, if you will. Coming in at a whopping, it says, triple IPA with orange puree and marshmallows. Uh, one pint, triple IPA. Alcohol is 11. It's written in orange on a blue label. I guess it's 11%. So this is a big one. Yeah, and it has, untapped has it at 11%. I thought, I was thinking it was a 10%, but it's at 11 And uh, there is no commercial description written here, and just a government warning on it, and brewed and packaged by 12% in North Haven, Connecticut. So, uh, it says decadent ales here on the top of the label there, so. I don't know if it's decadent ales is brewing it or 12% is brewing. It said brewed by 12%. So uh, they must be doing some brewing. I, I don't know what's going on there. There used to be a distribution. Now they must be getting into that part of it too, or have been. I don't really know, guys. Uh, it seems uh, funny that when you go into it, I think we've had one out of this batch before that was 12% listed in two different ways or something. So anyway, it looks like super hazy either orange or pineapple juice in the glasses depending on the lighting on the cup or the glass it looks a little on the lighter side and this is being an 11 percenter uh was 7.99 eight bucks for this can of beer so eight per i mean 11 percent that's a big boy put your big boy britches on put your big girl panties on uh, this is a drink at home or have a designated driver. That's the way I look at it because you, you have one of these and you could probably fail a breath test. Just one. So, just be aware of that. Don't do nothing stupid. That's all I'm going to put in there, guys. Orange Marshmallow Gusher. You think it's got any lactose in it? Not quite two fingers. Super cloudy, guys. That's thick looking there. It ain't no light coming through this one like yesterday's. Yes. Super thick, super cloudy, super hazy. Maybe super New England style. We don't know. It looks like it, but they're not claiming it or showing it here. Not a lot of information here, guys. Fairly new release, and I don't think I even looked here, guys. Yes, it has a Julia code on it. Two, three, three, four, one. The 341st day of 2023. Eh, December. December 2023. Looks good. To the lips. Oh, did I do this? Looks good. What do you think? Does it look good to you? Hmm? Yes, yeah, time. To the nose we go. Ooh. Ooh. Oranges. Marshmallows. Vanilla. Woo. Yes. This is orange off the chain. Marshmallows there. Dreamsicle esque on the nose. Yes. Very dreamsicle esque. Orange, vanilla, marshmallow, dreamsicles. Creamsicle, dreamsicle, whatever. Call different things, same thing. Good, smells good. Cheers. Mm -hmm. 
intense I will say that intense orange that's that's good I, I to me guys little slight booziness I don't want to say boozy slight alcohol not it ain't boozy at all but slight alcohol especially if you're not used to drinking 11 percent beer uh, final beer of the evening which it is for me this would probably be a sipper not a so that's pretty good intense orange so I like it I like it I wouldn't want to drink this every day but <laughs> if the doctor said Greg you can only have one beer now not one or two just one yeah, might be a candidate being 11% Get my buzz on anyway. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, pretty tasty. Let's go sip on it. Alright guys, I'm back. Got a little bit of lacing left on the glass and a little bit of beer in the glass. Definite twang to this. It almost has like an artificial taste to it guys, but I don't want to put it in that category, but Maybe it's because it's an 11%. It's super intense. But, wow. Again, wow. 11% oranges, <laughs> vanilla, marshmallows, super citrusy. All the orange characteristics tangerines, nectarines. It's good. Big boy beer though. Final check. Again, probably wouldn't want to drink that every day. Ooh. <coughs> At the end of the beer, room temperature, if I'm sipping on it well over an hour. Yes little bit of booziness. I, I retract what I said earlier. It does. When it's room temperature now, I am getting some a little bit of alcohol on this. So, yes, if you're not used to drinking big beers, this may seem extremely boozy to you. So, again, big boy beer. Uh, guys, to me, it does have a Julian code on it and it does tell you it's 11% on here. Uh, I'm on the fence there. Guys, I'm not, I'm not going to go far up the chain on this. 92 on this one from me. Uh, I do think it gets into the A- minus category uh, because of what they put on there and I think it is a well-made beer. Uh, but it is a monster beer it is a monster beer please don't drink this beer and try to drive uh let's jump over to Bradwick because i don't think they've got anything on it <clears throat> no they do not they don't even have it listed at all and over at untapped they have it at 4.12 with two 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 triple twos on the ratings. 222 people have commented or rated on this beer over there. And like I said, they have it at 4.12. A minus rating also from them. I agree. A minus. Just remember, big beer, big, big beer. If you had orange marshmallow gusher, let me know what you think. And I think we got two more. Two more meet again. Let's go see which one we're going to have next time.